We knew that Titan had an atmosphere. We had no idea how deep it was or what it was made out of. And what Voyager found was a nitrogen atmosphere with traces of methane and other hydrocarbons. And uh, it was turned out to be quite a deep atmosphere. We suspect there might be an ocean of a material called ethane. There could be all kinds of complicated hydrocarbons of different uh, colors and different uh, states, some ices, some fluids. There's all manner of, uh, of hallucination about uh, hydrocarbon goop that rains out of the atmosphere and falls on the surface. As a matter of fact, Titan remains one of the really exciting challenges for uh, future, future exploration. In the case of, um, of uh, Mimas, we see a crater on Mimas that's about 40% of its diameter. A little larger, and uh, that would have been enough to shatter the, the object. And, uh, and of course, we wouldn't see the crater then, because it would reassemble like a kind of a giant ball of sand. And uh, in the case of Tethys, there's another very large crater, even larger than the one on, on uh, Mimas. But in that case, Notice the floor has, is now rounded out so that it is curved as the rest of the uh, object's limb is. In the case of Dione, you'll notice that most of the surface is pretty bland. And only in this one region near the trailing hemisphere do we see a lot of, of, uh, of detail on the surface. Here we see a lot of crisscrossing faults uh, with wispy bright markings around them. Finally, we look at, at uh, Enceladus. We're talking about very cold regions. And here we are with this little tiny object uh, showing geologic activity of the scale that Enceladus does, in which uh, the ancient crater terrain has been broken and uh, has collapsed into the interior. Fluids have uh, flowed out into those uh, open uh, uh, gashes in the crust repeatedly.